Welcome to the video supplement for McGraw-Hill's Medical Simulation. Today we look at the student training scenario, I have the worst headache of my life. Our patient is Greta Peterson, a 45-year-old female who, after drinking some wine last night, fell down a flight of stairs. The simulation objective for this scenario is to demonstrate the pupillary light reflex. Along with the essential clinical skills, your instructors will be looking for washing your hands, wearing your gloves, and demonstrating a proper introduction to your patient, including checking the patient's name and birthday on the ID bracelet with that of the medical records. At this point, you will properly introduce yourself to your patient. Hi, my name is Rebecca. I'm an instructor, and this is Holly. She's a student. In today's scenario, we're going to be assessing the pupillary light reflex. We want to confirm the patient's identity first. Today we have Greta Peterson. Make sure her name and date of birth match the medical record. And the backstory on Greta is she's 45 years old and last night she drank some wine and fell down some stairs and today she says she has the worst headache of her life. How are you feeling, Ms. Peterson? I have the worst headache of my life. Don't worry, we're going to take great care of you today. This exercise allows the observation of unilateral and bilateral ptosis. And observe the pupils for size, pinpoint, or fully dilated. Observe the direct response and observe the consensual response. Do both eyes do the same thing at the same time? When you shine a light into a pupil, a direct pupillary reflex is produced in the eye that is stimulated with light. A consensual pupillary light reflex is produced in the opposite eye. In today's scenario, we're going to be assessing the pupillary light reflex. And how you do it is you take a non-LED pen light, shine it into the patient's eyes, and look to see whether their eyes constrict or dilate. And I'm looking at the left eye. And here's the right eye. His left pupil was dilated and non-responsive to light. The right pupil was moderately dilated and sluggish to light. Make those notations on your clipboard. Okay. And then you want to take off your gloves and wash your hands with the alcohol sanitizer. And the last thing you need to do is complete your student simulation worksheet. Don't forget to wash your hands, put on your gloves, and check your patient's name on the bracelet against that of the medical record. All right, Holly, go ahead and confirm the patient's identity. Okay, we need to check the information on her armband with our medical records. Today we have Greta Peterson. She is 45 years old. Last night she drank some wine and fell down the stairs, and today she has the worst headache of her life. How do you feel? I have the worst headache of my life. Don't worry, we're going to take great care of you. Okay, Holly, it's your turn to demonstrate a pupillary light reflex. Okay, so I need a non-LED pen light, and I'm going to shine it into the patient's eyes and look for dilation or constriction of the pupils. The left eye is dilated and unresponsive to light, and the right eye is moderately dilated and sluggish to light. And I'm going to make a notation of that. Good. Once that's done, I'll remove my gloves. I will wash my hands using the gel and then complete my student simulation worksheet. Great job, Holly. And that's how you assess a pupillary light reflex on a Lairdal simulator. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to your success in this demonstration. I'm Lauren Corbett from McGraw Hills Medical Simulation Work Text.